Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip and let's talk about bags and sacks. When you buy a piece of gear like a tent or sleeping bag, it's more than likely going to come with some sort of bag to put it in. But there are a lot of different choices in bags, not only in size and color, but the type of bag. So it's important that you make sure that your gear has the bag that's going to fit you, your gear, and the adventure that you're going on. So let's talk a little bit about the differences. First off, you're going to come across basically four different kinds of bags. You're going to come across a stuff sack. You're going to come across a compression bag. There's also pump sacks and dry bags. Those are the four that you're going to come across most of the time. Now, I'm going to use bag and sack interchangeably in this video because there's no real definition, both uh, industry or legal, to differentiate between the two. So we'll just use those two terms interchangeably. Understand two things about a bag or a sack that might come with your gear. Number one, it may not be the right bag for you even if it does come with one. Understand that a lot of manufacturers are dropping putting a bag in with their gear and you're left to your own devices to come up with something that will work. Others give you an option as to what kind of bag you want and others there's only one and that's the one that comes with it. So make sure that the bag that comes with it is one that is going to work for you and that's why we're going to go over the different kinds of bags because the one that comes with the, bag, the, the gear may not be the type of bag that fits your needs. The other thing to understand is the size of the bag. Some manufacturers have this 50 ton hydraulic press that takes whatever product they're selling and cram it into that bag and once you take it out and use it, it's not going back in there. No matter how hard you try, it's a struggle and you'll never get it back in there. So when you buy a piece of equipment, make sure that the bag is commensurate with what you are expecting it to do. So let's go over the four different types right now. The first off is simply what's called a stuff sack. And this is basically just a piece of material sewn up. It's usually got a open end with a drawstring on it and a closure that you just take what you want in there, you shove it in there, you pull it closed, and you've got whatever you want in there. That's the cheapest and simplest that usually comes with most equipment when they do have a, a bag with it. The problem with it is sometimes like I said, the bag isn't the best for your situation. For instance, here's the bag that came with my Kelty Escape 2 tent that I used with my get home bags. I fill that thing up, that's awfully big. Well, here's that, that tent in what's called a compression bag. Now compression bags are gonna have straps and buckles and webbing and, and reinforced points so you can really compress this down. So you can see that this would be a whole lot easier to pack in your backpack than this. Now I could probably compress it down a little bit inside this bag but not a whole lot. With the straps and the clips and the webbing and everything, I can really get this down to a small package. Now this doesn't make it lighter, it simply makes it denser and smaller so it's easier to find the space that best, fit, best fits in your backpack. And again, they come in all different sizes and shapes. Here's one for my Marmot Trestles which is sitting at home right now. It's a compression bag. This is the one I use for my Wiggy sleeping bag. This is a Milserp 9 strap compression bag. You can use a compression bag as a stuff sack, just if, as long as it's big enough to put whatever it is in there. The only problem is, is that that's all you're going to use it for. Maybe the webbing and the stitching and the buckles and everything, the external, external hardware that makes it into a compression sack, is extra weight that you don't need. So if you don't need a compression bag, just get a simple uh, stuff sack and then you're fine. The next kind of bag is called a pump sack. And that is a bag or sack that is specifically designed to attach to like your air mattresses to blow them up. Instead of sitting there on your, your mattress to blow it up, you can take one of these and fill it with air and then press it into the mattress or whatever else you're you know, uh, blowing up with air. Uh, you can get these, in, um, these are specifically designed for the Neo Air, but you can get other third-party manufactured jobs that will do this just fine. The fourth kind of bag you're going to come across is called a dry bag, and you will generally recognize those because they have a very rigid pair of bands around the opening. And The purpose behind that is so you can roll it up and then clip it together 
and that pretty much protects the interior from water. Again, it's not totally watertight, but this is good enough if you get caught out in the rain or you spill water on it or you're out boating and you, you, your gear goes overboard, it will take a slight dunking until you get it out of the water and keep your contents dry. Sometimes bags will have dual purposes. For instance, this one is not only a dry bag, but it's got straps on it to compress the sun or the snug pack stratosphere bivy that is normally carried in this. So it does have the compression straps to serve both as a dry bag and a compression bag. These pump sacks also have the drawstring on them, so they can be used as stuff sacks if necessary. So when you buy a piece of equipment, I think it's important for you to consider the bag that it comes with, if it comes with one at all, and to see if that is going to fit your needs for what you want it to do. Because like I say, I don't want to put this bag in my backpack. So I went out and got these compression bags to put the tent in to make it a lot smaller. So consider that when you purchase your equipment to make sure that the bag fits your needs and the expectations and I have a moth here and if it doesn't start looking for an aftermarket or another option from the manufacturer so this is backpack hat coming at you with this trail tip be sure to like subscribe share and comment on my videos be safe out there and I'll see you out on the trail